Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here at Computex 2013. It's Friday. For us, it's the last day. And what we've got right here is a tablet from the company called CZC Tech from Shenzhen. And what they're actually doing is, this is a 9.7 inch Bay Trail based, Intel Atom Bay Trail based, or it's not Atom anymore since this is the new Intel Celeron N2910 in there. It's a quad core CPU running at 1.6 gigahertz. The device had four gigabytes of RAM in this case they're planning a low-end version with two gigs but I told them I'd rather go with four gigs because people like it better there's a 64 gig SSD in there and what you see right here is a 9.0 inch retina display it's basically the same size as on the iPad it's probably sourced from the same sources but it's uh, not the same high quality but it's the same super high resolution. So what you get is basically a 9.7 inch tablet where you can have, in this case, the resource manager, we have the Internet Explorer on the right and the task manager down here so you'd be easily able to actually put two, two whole websites on this one screen. Um, it's kind of hard to use the device in this super high resolution with, without turning up the DPI values on the desktop because it's really hard to actually hit any icons. As you can see up here, it gets really hard to read stuff, but if you turn up the DPI uh, settings on Windows 8, it actually should be easily doable to work with it. Um, let's take a look at the start screen. If you open that up, you'll see another good thing about the high resolution is that you get more rows of life tiles on there. So this is actually five rows of life tiles on here. Usually you would have four or on the lower end devices with 1366 by 768 resolution, only three rows. So in this, in this case, you really get a lot of life tiles on here. You can, on Windows 8, it'll be more packed because you have different life tile sizes. So this device is really interesting for us and the performance is pretty good. It's getting kind of warm. There, there's an 8,100 milliampere hour battery in there. It's close to 700 grams. So they're trying to work on that because Intel still has to optimize the battery runtime on its uh, on the new chips or the drivers at least uh, to get higher runtimes because right now they're stuck at about six hours of runtime on this huge battery and Intel is telling us that it's supposed to run much longer so there's a lot of work to do on that but if Intel figures that out we're looking at devices like this which are thinner lighter and have a bigger or much longer battery life if Intel can, can really get it done um, let's get a quick look around this device up here here we have a light sensor for adjusting the brightness of the display. We have a webcam up here which can, can be configured by the company or by any reseller that buys the devices from CZZ because they're not selling straight to retail. You gotta remember that. That's an ODM company. Um, so they're looking for partners in the Western world or pretty much anywhere in the world who want to sell these devices. So another thing about that is actually that the design is not final. You can still figure out stuff like the size, the, the, the shape of the device and the casing and the materials and all that. Um, so on the back we have an aluminum finish right here which looks kind of like an iPad but they're open to anything. They said they would do black coating or plastics or whatever any company likes to get the price right. Um, what we see up here is a speaker on the left. There's This panel right here is made of plastic because on top of the device you actually have a SIM card slot. So there's the option to actually have an LTE 4G or 3G modem in there to use the device on the go. There's a webcam supposed to be here but Intel has not yet released the drivers or the specs for using the rear cam on the new Betra platform so there's actually not a camera, camera map module in there. There's another speaker right there and that's basically it on the back. Um, on the left side we have pretty much all the ports and buttons so this is the volume rocker we have the power button right here. This is the headphone jack it's a mini HDMI out and this is an SD card slot. This is a full size USB port. On Bay Trail you should actually be able to put USB 3.0 in there. Um, down here we have the power plug and that's pretty much it. On the bottom there's a microphone right there and the company is actually asking around and asking the buyers at the show here in Taiwan how, if, how they would like uh, design to be if you can actually dock a keyboard in here and they're actually thinking about it. Actually there's some magnets in here already so I can feel that it's getting stuck to this um, 
to this keyboard. So the thing is, they're thinking about the transformer style fact form factor like on the Asus transformer devices or maybe a keyboard folio case so, so you can fold it up. And right now they have a cover that is working pretty much like on the iPad so you can just click it in and then turn it around, fold it up like this and make it stand. So this is the CZZ Chinese uh, 9.7 inch Retina tablet running Intel Atom Bay Trail, one of the higher end quad core CPUs that is coming out this year from different brand names at Computex 2013. I was Roland with Mobile Geeks. See you later.